in this lesson we are going to see how to paint pine trees in five different ways i am using a liner brush for painting the tree trunk by using sepia or burn sienna and then i am using fan brush for creating the foliage you can see how i am moving my fan brush and creating the foliage for the pine trees i loaded my fan brush with olive green and then i am going to use perlin green i mean i am going to use olive green as lighter tonal value and perlin green as darker tonal value you can use any kind of green colors for painting the foliage in this practice session after painting the tree by using the same fan brush i am creating some grass just below the tree now i am painting the tree trunk by using the liner brush i am using burn sienna here and then i am creating some branches you can see the branches are not uniform by using fan brush and same set of green colors i mean olive green and perlin green i am painting the foliage you can see how i am moving my brush and creating the foliage i added the lighter tonal values first and then adding the darker tonal values you can see how i am moving my brush and creating the foliage you can follow the same protocol when you are painting pine trees by using fan brush after painting the tree trunk and foliage i am going to use the same set of green colors to paint some bushes just below the trees by using the sepia and liner brush i am creating the tree trunk now i am going to use an old brush for painting the foliage i am using the same set of greens i mean olive green as lighter tonal value and perlin green as darker tonal value and painting the foliage i am using creamy consistency or milky consistency of the colors for painting these kind of foliage if you use watery consistency of the color you won't get proper results so always try to use creamy consistency or milky consistency of colors when you are trying to create this kind of foliage you can see how i'm moving my brush and creating foliage you can follow the same protocol when you are using an old brush for painting the pine tree here i'm painting some bushes just below the tree by using same set of greens and an old brush now i'm painting the tree trunk and branches by using sepia and liner brush and then i'm going to use filbert grainer brush for painting the foliage i'm going to use the same set of greens i mean light green i mean lighter tonal value for olive green and then darker tonal value perlin green for painting the foliage if you don't have filbert grainer brush no worries you can use fan brush and an old brush for painting the foliage in the place of filbert grainer you can see how i'm moving my brush and creating the foliage also you can see the branches how they are popping out of the foliage i keep on adding the colors and gently improving the tonal value from lighter tonal value to darker tonal value i am not adding perlin green everywhere i am adding perlin green at the bottom portion of the tree and at random places to show the presence of darker foliage you can see i am not painting the foliage everywhere i am leaving some white space in between them i mean negative space in between the foliage to create some interesting effect by using the same filbert grainer brush i am painting some grass just below the trees by using same set of greens you can see how i am moving my brush and creating some grass structure and then some leafy structure on the grass you can follow the same protocol when you are painting the tree and grass by using filbert grainer After painting the tree trunk by using liner brush and burn sienna I am adding some olive green and perlin green colors for painting the foliage here I am using the round brush 
you can use any round brush for painting this kind of foliage. You can see how I am moving my brush and creating the strokes for the foliage. You can follow the same protocol when you are painting the foliage by using any round brush. I am not applying foliage everywhere, I am leaving some white space in between them. I suggest you to practice all these kind of trees, grass and bushes before getting into your main painting. You can see how I am moving my brush and creating some random strokes, they are not uniform, to show the presence of foliage. You can use fan brush, filbert grainer or an mold brush, even round brush for painting the pine trees. By using the liner brush, I am creating some grass and leafy structures just below the tree.